All right, here we are on Coalition 4 for Operation Chimera. We're going to learn a couple things uh, in this uh, in this video. One, how to complete Coalition 4. And two, uh, a unique way to turn blue that I actually did not know existed. And I'll tell you about that in a second. So for this mission, we have to shoot six different tanks. And we need to win. And if we want to complete the secondary, uh, to complete the mission with honors, we need to survive the, uh, uh, the match. Um, this is actually a pretty easy uh, mission to get done. If you are patient and don't overcommit to a, a lane on the map, uh, you can see here. I, I wouldn't normally do this, but uh, I'm hanging back uh, because I know that tanks are going to be pushing up that uh, that little road there into the abbey, and I want to start the, the the clock, so to speak, and at least get one shot in on the tanks that are, are doing that. Now, um, as soon as I, I uh, get that shot in, I want to shift to another lane because I don't think that there's. Uh, uh, very easy shots coming down. I see this T-10 has, has already pushed up to this lane, so I want to go support the, the TVs that are over here. Uh, I'm doing this in an FCM uh, 50T, uh, so in no way, shape, or form should I be uh, brawling with this T-10. Uh, he's, a, he's a tier 9 tank, I'm a tier 8 tank. Uh, he is a true heavy, I'm a, a fake heavy, I really don't have heavy armor. Uh, in fact, I, I, when I play my FCM 50T, uh, I play it as a medium tank. So, as soon as I get my shot in, I'm out of there because I'm not I'm not winning that fight. Uh, I hope the TDs win it, and, and I know that between the two TDs they can. Um, so I'm not uh, terribly worried about uh, uh, leaving them to that. I'm going to hang out on this side of the map anyways, uh, if they really need uh, help. But I see two tanks down this uh, this lane that um, uh, that would be uh, great to uh, to get shots on and um, get my first shot in and I struggle with uh, the next couple of shots. Now you'll notice that I have 10 HE in this tank. I don't normally carry 10 HE and I actually should be using HE right here, but uh, I'm, I'm not. Um, this would be the perfect situation to use HE for that, uh, uh, that Super P. I don't have the best of angles, but at least the HE would give me a, a very high chance of doing some damage. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're doing this. Um, the alpha of your tank means Nothing, uh, honestly. Um, you you probably want a tank to uh, to have a, a great rate of fire over any other uh, characteristics, with the exception of, of mobility, because I think those are the two keys uh, to getting this done. Um, so uh, load HE. Uh, make sure that you have a, a good amount of HE in your tank, because one damage on a tank is more than enough to uh, to give you credit towards those uh, uh, the six tanks that you need to damage. So we've killed the T-10 on the other side of the, the map. Um, uh, now, I could push over to the 1-2 line, but frankly, I, I think I would just die over there. It's actually very hard to, to get out of the 1-2 line if you get overrun on this map. Uh, and I don't want to overcommit to, to any particular lane. They could certainly use my help over there. Uh, and there's definitely tanks to, to, to shoot over there, but uh, I really don't feel comfortable pushing over there. Uh, simply because I think they're going to overrun that anyways, and, and in fact, they, they just did. So um, I don't want to be uh, pushing down that 1-2 that line. I think it would be unsuccessful in getting this done. Um, uh, what I do want to do is leverage the fact that, um, that this plateau is actually easy to defend. Uh, when you're on the east side of this map and the, the enemy takes the west side, it's very easy to defend your cap. It's going to be very hard for them to push up on this this plateau and actually uh, take the plateau from us, uh, given the number of tanks that we have on this side of the map. So I'm just going to fall back here. Um, and there I'm, I'm spotted. And just be patient and, and wait for these guys. Uh, so uh, the, before uh, before I, I continue on, let's talk about a, a unique way to get blue. I didn't actually know that you could do this. Um, if you... If you track your platoon mate enough times, in this case the platoon mate was my, my brother, him and I were screwing around on a platoon, um, uh, you will get banned. You'll get an hour ban. I actually didn't know this. Um, so that's lesson number two for this, this video. First lesson, how to complete Coalition 4. Uh, second lesson is uh, don't uh, perma-track your platoon mates because you will take an hour. In any case, uh, the enemy has uh, uh, made a, a very a terrible decision here. Uh, they pushed off of the one-two line onto the uh, onto the uh, the four line, and they're crossing this open field, uh, which means I'm going to get a couple uh, easy shots in on on enemy tanks. Um, 
this really isn't what they want to be doing here, but uh, it's great for me uh, because I can easily uh, get shots uh, on these uh, the side rear of these tanks as they're they're push up into uh, the buildings next to uh, Abbey. Now that I have five of, of six, and now that it looks like we have uh, uh, solid control of, of this match, I don't even care about uh, taking damage at this point. I just want to get my uh, my uh, six shot in. So this T95 is sitting over here. He's a, he's an easy target uh, because I'm definitely more mobile than he is. I've got elevation on him. Um, so I'm just going to go over here and pop a shot into his side. And that will be uh, Coalition 4 for uh, Operation Chimera. Now, there's only a few seconds left because we're, we're capping. Um, but uh, um, I'm going to survive this as well, uh, which is great. So we get the, uh, the secondary for this mission. So this, uh, this mission isn't, uh, isn't terribly hard. Um, you can see uh, pretty easy to, to complete with honors if you've got a, a solid team. Uh, so that was uh, um, pretty easy to get done. I think you should pick a mobile tank. Uh, it doesn't even really matter what tier you run this at, um, as long as you have a mobile tank that has a, a good rate of, of fire. Um, the moment that you load into your match, uh, just analyze where the lanes are on that and figure out how you can shoot down those lanes without committing to those lanes. That's the, the key here. Um, don't overcommit to, to any of the lanes. Shoot down your lanes, get your shots, uh, adjust to a different position. Um, and then don't forget to, to, to load HE. Uh, make sure you've got uh, probably a good solid 10 rounds of, of HE just in case. Um, you only need to get six uh, shots out in terms of, of different tanks here. Uh, so one HE shot is, is more than enough to, uh, to get this done. You'll knock this out in just a, a try or two, guys. Uh, good luck, and I will see you on the next mission.